Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and for me, I'm having a wonderful day because I am utterly surrounded by Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. What a time to be alive, eh? Just before I say any more, <laughs> so talented. I have been forced against my will to run a fan today because it was either that or die and I choose life. It's so flipping hot today. This room, I can't open the windows because it's gonna be then too noisy for the camera. It's, I'm absolutely sweltering. <laughs> so it's a necessity. I cannot not have it on. So I'm so sorry. I can't really tell how intrusive it is until I play the footage back and be wanting to just, you know, <laughs> spontaneously combust, but it's a necessity. It's the only way I'm gonna get through this video without melting into a puddle. So I'm so sorry if you can hear some kind of whirring in the background. It's not a ghost, it's just my fan, and I'm really, really sorry about it, but you know, you want me to survive, right? Right? So my new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks arrived the very next day after I ordered them, not even 24 hours later with free shipping. Nobody does it like Lisa Eldridge, let me just tell you that when it comes to customer service, every brand should be taking note from Lisa Eldridge. They are incredible. Delivery, shipping, packaging, conversations, communication, questions, help, flexibility, you name it, they are doing it. They're amazing when it comes to customer service, but that's a side note. We're here to talk and see these lipsticks on my lips, hopefully, so that it can help you make your choices if you're still stuck, choosing between shades, you wanna see them on the lips, I'm here to help you. I'm also gonna be doing comparison swatches to any of the similar shades that I already own, and let's just say, there's a fair few of those. So as of this moment, there is only one shade that is out of stock and that is Le Mepri and that was not on my like to grab list anyway. So I did, I don't have that one. Every shade that I'm gonna talk about in this video is currently as I speak still in stock. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, that is still the case. So you don't have to worry. Everything you see here, you can still grab. That's for the new shades, okay? We don't know about the others. Oh, well, actually, I mean, it looks like all of the existing or the previously released shades are in stock as well, in fact, including Velvet Cinnabar. So, okay, so apparently almost everything apart from Go Lightly, of course, that has never returned since this initial release, everything else is currently in stock on Lisa's website. So I picked up six of these new lipsticks, four of the luxuriously lucent lipsticks. Those are shiny, sheer buildable, lipsticks, hydrating, comfortable, creamy on the lips. And then I picked up two shades of her insanely saturated. These are matte, but like a creamy matte, full, full one swipe, insanely saturated pigmentation, two completely different ball games. But the shades that I got from the Luxuriously Lucent collection, if you watched my video talking about my picks, I picked up exactly what I said I was going to. I stuck to my game plan. <laughs> Hopefully you managed to as well. So I got Meet Me in Berlin, Palazzo, Je ne sais quoi, and Wonder Wheel in the Luxuriously Lucent. And then I picked up Rainbow Spill, which was one of the re-promoted shades, and Strawberry Shock, which is one of the brand new shades. So let's get started having a look at these on the lips. Okay, so first up we have Je ne sais quoi, which is one of the luxuriously lucent shades. Oh, so pretty. Such a pretty wearable summer color. It's just, oh, that's so pretty. This is exactly like one of those shades that Lisa said, where you get to wear color and something bright, but it's not super intimidating. It's not like crazy neon color, but it's like a pop of summery coral, but in a really soft, pretty wearable way. Super pretty, as always, the formula on the lips. You don't have to worry about that. It's very, very comfortable, hydrating, creamy, beautiful. Je ne sais quoi. I'm so sorry. I'm so conscious that you might be able to really hear the fan terribly, but the alternative is that I just die. So I choose life. Next up we have Wonder Wheel, which is probably the shade that I was like the most excited for because it's, I mean, it's a bit of me.
I can't wait to swatch this next to Atomic Cherry. Oh, just such a stunning shade. I think, in my head at least, will confirm, I think this is a bit pinker, whereas Atomic Cherry is a bit sort of redder or more orange, but we'll see when we do the comparison swatches in a moment, but oh, gorgeous. A bit brighter than Je ne sais quoi, but still very wearable, so pretty. <gasps> oh, she gets it right every time. Next up, one of the shades I'm most excited about out of all of those I picked up is Meet Me in Berlin, because this is like, I'm expecting this to be like a true nude. I think in this formula, we haven't really had many nudes, or if any, really. A lot of the kind of more neutral shades still sort of ran pink or ran peach, whereas this appears to be a, like a real everyday nude shade in the formula, so I'm excited. A light swipe. Oh, perfect. Definitely a richer, bronzier nude. really something that you don't see a lot of I feel like in nudes especially in this shinier formula that cooler richer deeper tone to it very summery great for deeper skin tones and so wearable this is perfect for me for summer I feel like you know we've got velvet fair I've got velvet fawn and even intrigue that give me all I want as far as nudes in the matte formula but I've been crying out for a nude, a perfect nude in the Luxuriously Lucent formula. And this is it, beautiful. Okay, moving on to Palazzo. Cannot wait to see this on. Do you know what? This is giving me Velvet Cinnabar's like shinier, glossier cousin. Like, I'm definitely reminded of Cinnabar. If you, a lot of people find Cinnabar a bit intimidating or if you have very fair skin, it may not work for you or may not suit you. This might be a slightly easier to wear Velvet Cinnabar. Obviously you can dab Cinnabar on, use it as a stain, but if you want something with a bit more shine, that kind of, for me, it makes a lot of lipsticks a bit more wearable if they have a glossier finish versus a matte. I'm interested to swatch these two next to each other because it's definitely giving me that same vibe, but in the luxuriously lucent, gorgeous glowing finish. Okay, so moving on to the insanely saturated shade. This is Rainbow Spill, which is one of the pre-existing shades re-released in this collection. I mean, insanely saturated is correct. So creamy. Wow, I mean, if you want a bright pink, like fuchsia matte lipstick, I think we've, I think we've found her. This formula is so creamy, so pigmented one swipe color, that is insane. And this bright, this impactful of a shade with no liner, with no problems, only Lisa can do it. Come on lippies, one more swipe. Don't fail me now. So the final shade, another one I'm super excited for. This is Strawberry Shock, also in the Insanely Saturated formula. I mean, stunning orange red, stunning orange red matte. It's almost, 
I don't know. This is intriguing to me because yes, it's a, like a classic orange red, I guess, but it's it's got some some different tones in there. It's sort of as it's catching the light, it's almost got a slight, is it like a coral kind of tone in there somewhere? I don't know, but beautiful. Bright and a bright, you know, red impactful lip, but just a hint more wearable than a lot of the shades. There's something like slightly more subdued about it. There's just something a little more muted than many, many of these shades that I have tried before. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. These are so comfortable as well, wow. Again, applied with no lip liner and it's not perfect because I definitely am not when it comes to applying these lipsticks with no liner but I mean pretty much as good as it gets for me without a liner still a pretty crisp application my lips are not perfect they're certainly not super defined anymore I'd say that's a pretty decent application without a liner chef's kiss okay so I do have all of the sort of similar existing shades in my collection laid out in front of me on the table so I'm going to swatch and compare any shades that I think might be similar to these ones to see if there's any helpful swatches, any helpful comparisons when you're trying to decide your shades, if you already have something similar or if something is different enough that you need to grab it. So let's have a look. So first I am swatching Je Ne Sais Quoi, then Wonder Wheel. We're doing some like sort of heavier swatches. Now let's see Atomic Cherry. Definitely pretty similar, I would say, to Je Ne Sais Quoi. I think, as suspected, Wonder Wheel is a little pinker and Atomic Cherry is more sort of orange red, but probably closer actually to Je Ne Sais Quoi. Then we have Dance Card. Go Lightly. I think that's really it for these sort of peachy corally type of shades that I have that would be similar. So again, we have Je Ne Sais Quoi, Wonder Wheel, Atomic Cherry, Dance Card, and Go Lightly. So next let's swatch Meet Me in Berlin, and let's try that with Painterly. Definitely more of a sort of plummy tone versus Meet Me in Berlin. And then we have Velvet Affair, obviously a different formula, different amount of pigment, but a nude for comparison. And then Velvet Fawn, quite different formula and shade, I would say. Probably the closest is painterly, but it's definitely a bit pinker than Meet Me in Berlin. Let's look at these reds. So we have Palazzo, Strawberry Shock. They're almost like each other's sister, but obviously completely different formulas. And here is the much loved Cinnabar. Definitely very different to Palazzo, but to me, on the lips, they do have a similar vibe somehow. Next we have Velvet Dragon. Very unique shade. Then we have Velvet Ribbon. True, true blue red. And I'm going to put Rainbow Spill next to that one. Definitely more pink. I just realised I didn't swatch Kitten Mischief next to Berlin, so let's do that now. So here is Kitten Mischief and Meet Me in Berlin. Again, I mean, Kitten Mischief is definitely more of a pinky mauve versus Meet Me in Berlin. So here we have, again, we have Palazzo, Strawberry Shock, Cinnabar, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Ribbon, Rainbow Spill, 
kitten mischief and meet me in Berlin. So there you have it. That is all of these lipsticks shown on the lips and on the arm with comparisons to existing shades. I really hope that this has helped you if you're trying to choose between shades, if you're not really sure what they're going to look like on. Hopefully this has been helpful. If there was something that you wish I'd compared or you want to see again, I might not have, I don't have every single shade of Lisa's. So if I didn't show it in the video, it's probably because I don't have it. But if there is something that I didn't show you, please let me know and I can do it over on my Instagram. Instagram stories for you. Also, I have posted outdoor sunlight and live swatches on my arm, natural daylight swatches on my arm over on my Instagram. So that might also be helpful for you if you want to visit me over there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.